Okay, Car Guys YouTube, and more specifically Jaguar guys, uh, if you have an X308 98 to 2003 uh, rear axle, it's an 8 inch, it's a 14 HU, and it is not very strong. It lacks power lock, it lacks any kind of uh, limited slip differential, and it uses the traction control system basically to monitor your wheel slip and you know derate engine torque, things of that nature. <clears throat> However, the uh, 95 to 97 uses a 15 HU, which is a Dana 44 basically. In a nutshell, it uh, it accepts all the Dana 44 carriers, accepts all the Dana 44 bearings for the most part. Jaguar does fiddle with some of the numbers on that, but um, it's a lot stronger setup, and it um, it's more easily modded than the uh, for actually I don't even know if there's any available uh, modifications for the 14 HU, but um, this is a split carrier design, so it's a couple different axles here. You got the Jaguar stock, which is an open diff. This is out of the 95. This is a track lock out of a Jeep JK from 07 to, uh, I think, the newest ones. This is a 19-spline offset carrier um, that'll fit the Jaguar. It's a power lock, and um, it's a 392 and up. The rest of these are all uh, the 373 and down, and just the offset in the ring, if you can see that, that, uh, that causes one or the other. As the ring gear goes higher in gear, they end up, um, the, the Pinning it smaller and they have to basically bring the ring gear up into the pinion So that's how they do it is with an offset carrier. This is a power lock carrier for a 373 and down um, it is out of a Older Jaguar when I bought this rear axle it only it had the open diff in it that I just showed you and I needed the power lock uh, I'm doing an LS swap Jaguar. So I wanted the power lock pretty badly and I wanted something a little bit updated So I started looking at the JK's and they have an 8.9 inch ring gear from 07 and up um, and a bigger pinion that has a much larger pinion shaft in it um, But because of that larger pinion shaft the bearings all change uh, When you go to put it back together So you're gonna need a whole different set of bearings if you're gonna try this But it is very entertaining that you can take a stock Dana from 06 and back and Fit an uh, 8.9 inch ring gear into it. I had to do a little tiny bit of grinding on one of the webs uh, To get the gear to fit but it fits it lines up the offset bearing is a little bit different than the stock bearing the stock bearing is a little bit thicker so you do have to use 120,000 uh, shim behind the cup when you drive into the housing for the inner bearing um, that'll put the bearing far enough out to where you can use regular shims behind the um, the, the bearing between the bearing and the pinion to uh, to dial in your center line um, it uh, it all went together pretty easy uh, much easier than I expected with the exception of finding the bearings that was kind of a pain in the butt uh, to do this if you're gonna do the Jaguar rear end the 95 to 97 um, you're gonna need these bearings which is a 24780 24720 and you're gonna need these guys which th this bearing is the inner bearing and in race this is the outer uh, bearing and race and these are actually the stock JK units they fit just fine um, in the in the Jaguar housing and on the J on the um, JK ring and pinion setup um, it is a way stronger setup the gear difference I wish I would have taken a picture uh, before I put it all together, but that's the 8.5 there, and that's the 8.9 there, and it, it clears, but, I mean, barely. Um, and it's a huge difference. So if you guys out there are looking to do an upgrade on your Jaguar to get posi the posi lock set up, or if you're just looking to have a stronger rear axle on a Dana 44, um, this is kind of the way to do it. Get the JK ring and pinion, and uh, get the conversion bearing. Uh, you'll have to get the shim pack, which I wish I would have taken a picture of this before I ripped it open, but... Um, I was excited to get the project done. So these are the three inch shims. They are only about a quarter inch thick, the three inch outer diameter. And, um, you know, maybe a quarter, maybe a little thicker than a quarter inch thick, but you can find these are pretty much for any rear end shop. They'll be able to help you out with getting the uh, shim pack for it. And then the Ford 88 shims, um, pinion shims work great for going between the bearing and the pinion for finalizing your, um, your depth. And I was just able to hone a bearing out and, you know place the shims until i got it you know the the uh gear pattern worked out on the on the axle so anyway um i will have this traction lock and that power lock for sale if anybody's interested this is a 19 spline uh it will fit a jaguar with a uh, 392 and up gear so if you're interested in a hot rod gear um that's going to be the way to go and they're getting harder and harder to find actually this one is a traction lock uh it's a 373 and down i'll be selling this as well it's got clutch plates in it as well so it's posi and uh you know, if anybody's interested in these, just let me know. All right. Thank you.